Which two substances are elements with a giant molecular structure? Diamond, graphite, and there we go. Carbon gallotropes, which are? Diamond is a giant covalent structure and graphite is also a giant covalent structure. We already have our answer. Uh, then you have diamond and sand. Uh, the questions asking for elements, elements, right? So sand is a compound. So that's out. And you have methane, which is not a giant covalent structure and not an element, and iodine, which is not a giant covalent structure but is an element. Methane and sand, same, we've done methane, we've done sand. Correct answer is A. Sodium hydroxide solution was added to dilute hydrochloric acid, the pH of the solution. In the flask was measured at intervals until no further change of pH took place. What would be the pH change in this reaction? Okay, so it's probably going to be somewhere close to one. And once you add sodium hydroxide, it's going to increase until no change is seen. So it's probably going to go to 14 or something, right? Whatever the highest. So sodium hydroxide is 13 or 14 generally, right? So what would be the pH change in this reaction? Decrease to one? That's no, it's going to start at one. Decrease to seven. Uh, let's just confirm was added to hydro pH of the solution in the flask was measured at intervals until no further change. So you kept adding it until no further change was seen. So it's very close to 12, right? And why is it not 14? Well, depending on what kind of acid and what kind of, what concentration of acid and what concentration of sodium hydroxide used. So it probably started slowing down, but if you kept adding it, it might increase even more depending again is on its concentration. Maybe it's a very dilute solution being added to a very dilute acid. The correct answer right now is D. Solid Y is insoluble in water. It gives off a gas when heated and also when reacted with dilute sulfuric acid. So insoluble, it is insoluble in water, gas when heated, Carbonate. It sounds like a carbonate. Right? So carbonate will do all three things. What is copper carbonate? It's all three because carbonates will react. They thermally decompose to form carbon dioxide. Uh, sodium carbonate is actually soluble in water. Right? Sodium nitrate is also soluble. Zinc oxide will probably not produce a gas it'll undergo neutralization, right? So best answer is A. The anti-communist molecule, the methane instead of the aurethane, right? Methane is a greenhouse gas, which process releases methane into the air. Combustion of petrol, decay of vegetable matter, photosynthesis, volcanic activity. Decay of vegetable matter, produces methane and it can release it into the atmosphere. The diagram shows the breakdown of an alkane to ethene. Okay, cracking. The ethene is then tested with aqueous bromine, which information about, so it's all rubbish, they're just talking about ethene. Solubility of ethene is, ethene being non-polar is completely insoluble right and it'll decolorize aqueous bromine when you bubble through it right the correct answer is a which structure is not an isomer of the structures shown so the structure shown is um pentane because it has five carbons is not an isomer so it shouldn't have five carbons right or Let's figure out the molecular formula for this. It's five carbons, that'll be different, right? Five carbons and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 hydrogen. I'm not gonna look at the first one, that's a classic isomer. I'm gonna just confirm this is not an isomer and it 
actually does look like an isomer. I don't see why it's not. But it has five carbons, and easy to see it has 12 hydrogens, three times four. Right? Okay. C is actually the same molecule as the one drawn over here. It's the same molecule, it's just drawn differently. So, yeah, like you can draw, you can put it over here, you can rearrange it however way you want. Right, let's get an eraser, that's what I wanted. You can put it wherever you want. The trick is if you have like a pen, put it on one corner carbon and take it through. If you're getting, you know, if you can connect all the carbons, it's a straight chain carbon. So this is a straight chain carbon. This is also a straight chain carbon, right? So this is C and the question is, uh, molecule, pentane. They're completely identical. The last one is the same as A, actually. Just the same A mirrored about this. If I flip this about this axis, so this CH3 is going to come here, right? And it's going to turn into A. So they're identical. So C is our correct answer, what we're looking for. Which reagent could be used to distinguish between dilute nitric acid and dilute hydrochloric acid? So I think silver nitrate could do a good job of identifying the chloride ion. If you add silver nitrate in it, it's going to give you a white precipitate of silver chloride, which is going to be a white precipitate right so do we have silver nitrate we do okay and that's it uh, barium chloride is actually going to test for the sulfate ion sulfate how do you spell sulfate okay aqueous sodium hydroxide will test for a lot of things actually uh, it won't test for the chloride ion. It can test for zinc, kind of. Do we have zinc? Nitric acid, right? Yeah, it won't test for anything. Nitric ion, it can test for if you had aluminum, but they don't have aluminum. This is out. This was out. Um, copper carbonate. What does that do? Nothing. Correct answer is B. Which statement is always true when two atoms join together by a covalent compound? One atom is a metal, the other atom is a non-metal. Well, let's think of some covalent compounds we can think of. You know, what else is there? Uh, SiO2, uh, CH4. You know, these are covalent compounds. None of them are metals so far. It's actually the opposite. It's between two non-metals. One atom loses one electron, the other atom gains one electron. It's actually sharing. It's called covalent because they're cooperating. So that's where the co comes from. And the valent comes from the valence electrons. So they're cooperating valence. You know, the two atoms share one electron. Well, two electrons, right? That's what D is. They both share it. It's not sharing if both aren't sharing, right? Like. Otherwise, then the other one's just giving it to them. Okay. Correct answer is D. The diagram shows the structure of diamond and graphite. Which property of these substances have in common? They are giant structures. Yeah, sure. They can act as lubricants. That's out. They can conduct electricity. No, diamond cannot. They contain only covalent bonds. That is indeed true, right? But uh, I guess they're talking about this property being different, that they have this sort of attraction. Yeah. Yeah. Not the best question, I guess. Because, hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't like this question. But the correct answer is A. All of the following substances can conduct electricity. T, which substance conductivity is not due to the movement of electrons. Lithium chloride is ionic and does not have free moving 
electrons it conducts because it has uh, ions that are able to carry charge correct answer is correct answer is c which mixture would react with dilute sulfuric acid to form two different gases dilute sulfuric acid to form two different gases copper and magnesium carbonate yeah copper will copper actually won't react with i was thinking copper would react because it's a metal copper won't react because it's below hydrogen in the reactivity series so copper is below hydrogen in the reactivity series magnesium carbonate will so, so you have nothing and carbon dioxide coming out copper carbonate and magnesium this will do it carbonate will react and form carbon dioxide and magnesium will react to form hydrogen metals react with hydrogen to form hydrogen uh, metals react with acids to form hydrogen copper carbonate and magnesium oxide so carbonate will form the gas but magnesium oxide will not because why exactly hmm interesting but magnesium oxide will not produce a gas it'll produce something else so there's no gas formed so that's it that's a clever little yeah not a gas copper oxide and magnesium hmm. magnesium will react but copper oxide again will not produce a gas whereas magnesium will. okay fine uh, that's a real nice trick i was legit confused for a second b is the correct answer this is a good question actually a decent enough question they did highlight different gases right and the correct answer is correct answer is b cholesterol is an organic molecule what type of compound is cholesterol alcohol maybe that's why it's called you know why panadol is called panadol yep picture that you guys have been taking alcohol all this time 